let's just see what we can do here for you. Okay, tell me what's going on. Well, it's like the batteries are dead. There's there's no there's no power. No power. The electrical system's just dead. Okay. And, and I got two Saturn jumper cables hooked to it right now, and it's not doing nothing still. Have you checked the fuses or the fusible links? Where are they at? So I believe they're going to be between the battery and the fuse box. So you'd have to follow the main battery, the positive cable from the battery to the battery fuse well, box. there's a fuse box on the right side behind the battery. So at least you know where to look. So what you could do, you could follow the, the cables, the positive cable from the positive post on each battery to the fuse boxes. And then you could use a voltmeter and you could check for power on these circuits every few feet, you know, from the battery all, all the way over to the fuse box to see where you're losing power. Batteries are showing 13 volts. I, I'm not, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I, I, let me repeat what I, was, what I was trying to say. So if the batteries show 13 volts, then the fuses in the fuse box should also show 13 volts. I'm in the fuse box now. Okay, and what's the voltage at the fuses? them little flat ones there's like 20 30 of them is that the wrong box well you could you could check both of them if you got a couple of them under the hood <laughs> so if the batteries are at 13 volts but there's no power to the to the fuse boxes then there could be a communication or i'm sorry a, a connection issue in that wiring between the battery and the fuse box or maybe there is a fusible link in the wiring between the battery and the fuse boxes Honey, I don't know. You have to ask him. Is it one of them little flat fuses? Um, you mean in the fuse box? Yeah. Um, I, I would think there's probably several of them, yes. Yeah. I wonder how you know which one is to the electrical. Well, all the fuses are for electrical, but what you can do is you can just check power on all of the fuses. Did you, I'm sorry, did you say you checked all the fuses and, and they are good? No. Oh. No, he was asking how you tell which one goes to what. All it has is a bunch of numbers. It doesn't oh. actually say one is for this, two okay. is for this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Okay, so sometimes they do, each of, them, each of them are labeled, but if they're not, if they're just numbered, the only way to tell would be basically to use a wiring diagram. And normally I have wiring diagrams for just about any vehicle, but for this particular one, because it's a 2024 I don't have I don't have a diagram for this new of a vehicle, but what you could do if you haven't checked the fuses, you'll want to check every single fuse to make sure that they're good, and then if they're good, then we're going to want to go ahead and make sure that the, the fuses under the hood have the same voltage as the battery. So again, if the battery's got 13 volts, these fuses should also have 13 volts. And if it would be easier, I can let you go. I can let you work on this, and then you can reply back with the results and the readings, and we can go from there. And you check the or check the prongs in the box well if they're if they have a flat top then there should be two small metal prongs right when you're looking down at the there's fuse at the top on of the it fuse. there's not on the fuses they in the box okay the, the, the fuses had the female in okay so then you yeah you might have to you might have to remove them then the check power on the on the female ends or on the you know whatever they plug into so you don't want to make sure that that's got battery voltage. They got like a negative three. Okay, where are you, where do you have your black lead when you're checking for voltage? One post, one post has thirteen, and the other one has seven. Okay, so one post has battery voltage, which is good. All right, so your black lead's on a good ground. Is that right? Now it's on a bolt on the frame. Okay, all right. So that means that particular fuse has voltage, or at least where you're checking it. So you want to make sure that all of the fuses under the hood are getting voltage. And then, of course, make sure all of the fuses themselves are good. You know, make sure they're not blown. That 40 amp negative 3 is that 30 don't have nothing. Okay, that could indicate we got a bad fuse box. That's possible. And on the 60 amp fuse, the top prong has 13, and the bottom prong has two. Well, you got the fuse removed, correct? Yeah. Okay, so the other, 
you know, when you remove the fuse, one side's going to have power that comes from the battery and the other side will not, or it might have some, you know, some stray voltage on it. I wouldn't worry about that. So th I would say that would be normal. All right. But that 40 amp, it don't have nothing on it. Okay. Do you have a high current battery junction box? You might want to check. Some of these have a high current battery junction box that's either right at the battery or right off the battery, one of the batteries. And the fuses inside that battery junction, the high current battery junction box, power up the regular battery junction box. So just a heads up. Mm. Well, I need to check all them fuses, every one of them? Yes, sir. Because what's going to happen is we could spend hours on the phone and then Oh, look at that. We, we found a blown fuse. It was it was as simple as that. I couldn't I can't tell you how many times I've been down that road. So absolutely. Yeah, we got electrical problem. We got to check every single fuse on board the vehicle before we start pulling the trigger and replacing that fuse box. And before we spend a lot of time. Yeah, let's check the basics. But how am I going to check these fuses because they don't have a end on them. So is there a sight glass that you can see if they're blown? Oh, well, these little ones has one. Okay. So they should you should be able to visually see if they're popped in the middle or or, or broke or disconnected. Them, I can just own those out, can I? That's correct, right? If so, if you can't, if there's no sight glass, then you can just check the resistance. Obviously, you want continuity through the fuse. I'll start pulling every one of them and checking. I guess something. It'd be easier. What you, what you could do is you can get a test light or a voltmeter. Uh, we we use something called a power probe, and we just basically we leave the fuses in place and we just check. If there's two metal prongs on the top side of the fuses, you can just check both sides. You know, if the fuse is good, both sides will have power. But if the fuse is I a dip. A... On the bottom of the fuse box, there's three wires that's bolted to it. Okay. Like big wires. Yeah, it's probably power coming in. So you can take your, you know, voltmeter and check power once we've confirmed the fuses are good we can make sure there's power in and out of the fuse box to the rest of the vehicle if the fuse box has power then I, I, my guess is those wires are probably leaving the fuse box powering up other components so again if we haven't gone through the fuses we have to go through the fuses and make sure they're good if the fuses are good and those wires don't have voltage that could suggest we got a bad fuse box brand new truck and already got this kind of issues it shouldn't be the case. That's why I keep recommending to check the fuses. That that would be the most likely cause, unless we got a bad connection or something like that. But anything's possible at this point. All right. I guess I just pull them all and check every one of them. Yes, sir. And then just reply back and let me know what you find. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Bye bye.